Hi, I'm Annie Meehan, and today I want to talk about something that was a challenge for me as a young person. You see, at about six years old, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. And for many young people or adults that are diagnosed with dyslexia, we are considered stupid, not very smart. Something's wrong with us. We have a learning disability. We're disabled. But it's not really true. It's just we see things differently. I know many of my friends listen to audiobooks, but I can't listen like that. It doesn't process in my brain the same way it does in someone else's that doesn't have dyslexia. Recently, I had an epiphany about dyslexia that really helped me because often when I talk to audiences about wearing the label of dyslexic made me feel like I was incompetent, not smart, not capable, and yet today I've written books. And so I was teaching this audience about being dyslexic. What does it feel like to me to be dyslexic? And I couldn't really explain it in words because if you see words in the right order, that looks right to you. But to me, a misspelled word can look perfectly fine. If you have time to check my spelling, go ahead. But the truth is that dyslexia moves letters around. And I don't know a lot about sports, but often I'll tell people there's this football player and his name's Randall. And he played for the Vikings and he played for the Bears. But I can't remember his last name. Do you know him? All I know about him is he's the one football player that's always smiling. And I love happy people. People would say Randall Cunningham or Randy Moss, but neither of those were right and I knew it, but I didn't know who to tell them that it was. And all of a sudden I had an epiphany. I realized who Randall was. You see, Randall is actually Jared Allen. And for you, it might look like Jared Allen. But to me, those letters blend together and they look like Randall. If that helps you understand dyslexia, if you can see the words Jared Allen and turn them into Randall, or if you can imagine what your child or your friend or your parent feels like that has dyslexia, that's what it looks like. Taking two words, Jared Allen, and mixing the letters up and turning it into Randall. Not all the letters are there, but enough of them are that that's what it looks like to me. You see, having dyslexia doesn't mean that I'm stupid, and not being a great seller doesn't mean that I'm not intelligent or incompetent. It just means that I had to learn new skills to articulate with words and with pictures to explain things that other people see differently. And just because we see something differently doesn't mean one is better than the other. If you have someone in your life that's struggling to read or write, maybe check if they have dyslexia. They're not stupid. Their brain just looks different and receives things differently than yours. I hope this helps you understand dyslexia and have a little more compassion and kindness for those of us whose minds and eyes see differently than yours. Maybe there's something to learn from them, and maybe they compensate by being more articulate or intelligent in other ways. So if you know someone with dyslexia, I encourage you to have compassion, patience, and kindness with them. Because they learn differently doesn't mean they don't learn at all. I'm Annie Meehan, a motivational speaker out of the Twin Cities, wishing to work with you and encourage your team to see things differently, to keep your mind open to wonder rather than judgment. Join me in becoming the exception.